These kids are hoping to strike it rich, but the real treasure at this year's rendezvous is experiencing history firsthand. The rendezvous is a fourth grade history day for fourth grade students. Uh, Colorado history is taught at fourth grade, and so this is a taste. This is just a taste of Colorado history. This is to get them excited about what they're going to learn the rest of the year. Who wants to try it? The 23rd annual rendezvous was held at the Fort Collins Museum and was put together by the museum and the Poudre School District. It's a great way for high school students to, to be active within the, the Poudre School District community. This is um, an event that we're really excited about having the opportunity to do. We think it's a great chance for the kids to really experience different aspects of Colorado history. When Rendezvous began, we would get, you know, at first there were maybe two or three hundred students. Between today and tomorrow, we will have 1,318 kids, which is pretty exciting. So we're reaching a lot more kids. Rendezvous brings historical characters to life. I'm dressed up as a conductor. Common soldier of the Civil War. My name is Flying Fawn. I am the Broken Butt and I am their mountain man in residence. And allows kids to experience history such as visiting a Civil War camp. Okay, I want you to all stand up real straight because this is drill time. Okay, when I say right face, you're all gonna turn right. Okay, ready? Right face. There you go, good job. Turn. We are portraying the common soldier of the Civil War. I hope that they will get a better sense of what the life of a soldier was like uh, during the Civil War. I hope that they get a better sense of what life was like during the Civil War. I hope that it piques their interest uh, in history so that they will want to know more and they'll get excited about history and ultimately excited about learning and so that they will uh, be lifelong learners. Once the bell rings, kids move to the next historical adventure, such as listening to a train conductor talk about the great railroads of the past. Gold and silver and copper from the mountains. I just hope that we can get the kids' interest in yes. railroading and let them understand how it helped build Fort Collins and build the state, and it ties into their Colorado uh, history so curriculum we and show that it was an integral part, not just a separate part of the Colorado history. Kids go from catching trains to catching cattle <laughs> with a few pointers from a real Colorado rancher. The kids today are so far removed from this lifestyle that, you know, when we were growing up, most of us had a grandparent or an aunt and uncle that really still lived on a farm or a ranch. And the kids today don't have that. They're like twice removed from anybody in agriculture. And so they, uh, they have no idea what goes on behind, you know, raising their food and, and how things get in the grocery store. And so for somebody who's in the business to come and talk to them kind of makes it more real for them, I think. How much today does an ounce of gold cost you? After roping cattle, kids can try their luck in panning for gold. You know, the panning for gold was awfully interesting. It's nice to feel like you're getting rich when you pick up a few gold uh, nuggets out of the, uh, the stream that runs through Library Park here. Who, who can tell us what this rock is? Students also get a golden opportunity to talk to actual miners. After striking it rich, the kids can journey into Indian territory. I talk about uh, what Plains, uh, the, some of the activities of Plains Indians. So we talk about uh, the fact that everyone had a job to do in an Indian family, and we talk about the various jobs. And of course, I, I have more fun explaining that the men had two main jobs. They did the hunting and they protected their family, and the women did everything else. So then I get to demonstrate a lot of these things. I like um, the games that we did. We all got in a circle and then there was a hawk and a rattlesnake and the hawk was blindfolded and they had to try to catch the rattlesnake. Other stops at the rendezvous include going back to school in a one-room schoolhouse, learning how to pack a covered wagon, building old-time furniture, listening to an old fort soldier, and talking to a mountain man. Of course, the rendezvous wouldn't be complete without a little song and dance. You know, 
There's a lot of stuff we do in the classroom we're going to forget, but field trips, they don't forget them, especially when it's something where they can dress up and get their hands dirty and learn some stuff. It's pretty cool, yeah, like that. <laughs> Kids not only leave with their hands dirty, but a new appreciation of Colorado history. We're learning about um, Colorado history in the old days and how they used to get around and how they did without technology. Rendezvous not only makes learning history fun, but it also will be remembered for a long time. I have done this every year for about 20 years, and it's been fun. I've enjoyed it every step of the way. I didn't realize how long I'd been doing it until a mom came with one of her kids into my shop. I have a black powder shop here in town to buy a few feathers and beads to make an outfit for this rendezvous. And she told me she remembered when I was the mountain man when she was at the fourth grade rendezvous. And as we were talking to some of the high school students uh, last year, we asked them, what do you remember about your elementary years? And they said the rendezvous. This year's rendezvous gave fourth graders a glimpse into the past and delivered a history lesson they'll never forget. <laughs>